nice and flat because when you press it open, it sets the seam really pretty. The stitch line. And I'm coming back. Don't try not to torture my pleats that are in here. Okay, so now I can. It kind of um, affected my pressing. Kind of affected my cuff, but I can go back and fix that later because the steam when I was trying to press these seams open kind of unpressed my sleeve, but that's no big deal. I'll just come back in, press it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pin really close to those edges, to the stitch line. So you, with even though it's white, there's a stitch line there. You wanna put your um, folded edge really close to the stitch line and just pin. Pin all the way around. We're almost done. So I'll go back to the sewing machine and finish pinning because I want to trim something. This is where you have to decide if you want to trim. I don't trim on the cuffs a lot unless it's a very bulky fabric, but I do want to trim a little bit where these pleats are because it's adding some extra bulk that I don't like. And then I can come into the corner a little bit here because I want to be able to fold this edge. This edge needs to fold over and completely cover that so it should look nice and neat like that and I can pin here and just do the same the whole way come back down in here and I'm going to trim this again because you can see that it just adds a little extra bulk in the corners but don't go too close because then you'll have like this short little ridge that you can't even fold in. Okay. So. This is definitely where I would hand base, but I don't want to um, take up the time on the tutorial. But you saw me hand base before, so you know what, I, what it's for or how it's done. Okay. So now everything would be hand basted. And... Go back to the machine. Just want to make sure that doesn't pull away when I get started. That's why I'm fiddling with it. I'm gonna start right on the edge. Don't do a lot of back stitching because it tends to want to pull this fabric. So I do it just like one or two cranks. It's enough to stay. And you can see I'm just trying to keep it really, really close to that edge. This is my right side of my garment now, but I'm sewing with the cuff inside out now, even though this is my right side, okay? So just you have to use do it the way that makes it easier on you. hand sewn I know for sure it wasn't going to twist but I'm just I'm going a little slow and just checking I'm using my hands to guide it Side out and you're going to get a good look at it but this is how it should look on the outside and then this is the inside so it still looks pretty good on the inside it um, I keep saying if I hand base it, it would be perfect but see how it came off a little bit but it's really really more for me I like it better that it's finished nice on the outside sometimes your pattern directions will tell you to sew it the opposite way that I just did um, but I like it like this so then here would be when we, we pin it together how this continuous cut placket finishes off the cuff. You'd put your button and buttonholes over here, right? And that's your continuous. Let me just lay it flat for you to see. 
and you've got your pleats and it's really pretty. That's it. Thank you.